No matter how much time and energy you put into farming loot in Rust, you won't ever reach the amount you can find at monuments, especially through card puzzles. In this video, I'm going to show you clearly how you can loot every monument, including oil rig and the new underwater labs. Hello everyone and welcome to another Rust tutorial. There are timestamps below to help you navigate through the video and with that being said, let's go on to our first section where to find the green cards. First up we have a lighthouse, this one's quite straightforward, you just have to swim up to it, run up these stairs along the side. If you're the first person here, the door will be barricaded like this, but you just have to break it down, it's easy enough. On the left there's another barricaded door which will be a barrel, you can farm on the other side of it, not too much on this side. On the right hand side however is the metal door, there will be a little crate for you to loot there, and on the desk there will be a green card, which is what you need for one of the first puzzles. Now, it's important to remember that all cards will spawn on a desk, so whenever you're in a monument looking for a card, you need to find the desk that it spawns on. Next up we have the petrol station, or Oxum's Gas Mart. If you come inside, you'll see on the left there is a little loot room, a storage room you can search, and on the right is the desk, which has the green card on it, and will also spawn a, uh, an elite crate, or a military crate, I can't remember which one, there's the recycler, and also a little tunnel you can hop down. Uh, you come down this tunnel, you'll find a... Uh, a little crate down there and usually a dead player or two that you can search, it's also not a bad place to hide if the whole place is being run over by uh, enemy players. And on top of that you can also loot the roof through a ladder inside the storage room. Okay, next up we have the swamp, now this one's special because as you can see you can build on the inside which makes it a good place for a base, especially with the amount of sulphur that spawns inside the actual waters. Um, you'll notice that there's a small cabin with uh, well, only one floor and then the cabin with two floors. The cabin with two floors is where the green card will spawn. And inside that little shop front area there will be a little crate as well that you can loot. If you come around the back you'll notice uh, along where the hill is there's another door you can break down and if we move our way in through here there is a desk with a green card on top and there will also be some crates inside on both the first and second floor. Next up is the junkyard, this one's quite straightforward. With the main entrance you just have to take a right and follow the path around until you get to a little ramp area. We'll walk up there and climb up the ladder. Along this way you'll find the recycler on the right, there it is. You take a right turn at the recycler and down here to some shipping containers, one of which is open, has a desk and in on this desk, although it isn't currently spawned, uh, there is a green card that spawns there, as well as a little bit of loot. Here we have the supermarket, abandoned supermarket, it's just like the gas station, you walk in and this time the door is on the left with the study, with the little desk that you can uh, loot and here will be another green card. Quite straightforward, uh, you can break through the doors and it's easy enough to find. Next up is satellite dish, yes. This one is quite straightforward, however you will need a fuse to do this one, it's a green card puzzle. So, you're going to go to find this little shed here, it will be connected through wiring. Uh, you'll find wiring antenna, you put a fuse into this fuse box and around the back of the shed, if I just go around there now, you will find the on switch, you turn this on, and if you look above the cabin you'll find a little uh, wire, That'll, you can follow that round to find where you need to go, I'll just show you on here, you'll have to run up along the side of this and it's just on the other side of the monument, you'll find another cabin and this where you swipe a green card. Hop in, you'll find your loot and a desk with a blue card on it. Just so you can remember, if you go back, you can find uh, your fuse again, or you can pick up your fuse again, and it will still have some durability left, so you can reuse it the same way you can use a card multiple times as well. Okay, this next one is Harbour. This is Large Harbour. There are two. Uh, they are very easy, both more or less the same. So you'll notice that this one obviously slightly larger, I'm just above the recycler now. If we go into the actual loot room itself, or not the loot room, but the fuse room, we head inside, pop our fuse in the same as with satellite. Uh, just on the outside, we passed it a second ago, is the on switch, and we can follow our little wire straight down here, and you'll see the green card room. Hop inside again, and we'll find loot on the left hand side with the card on the right here and that's the whole thing looted more or less, you can run across the boats with harbour as well just to find a few more crates, get a bit more loot, they're quite good to find satchel charges I've found in the back. 
Here we have sewers, this one's quite straightforward. If you find the building with the recycler on it, <clears throat> you can just simply head inside and you'll be able to find the on switch easy enough Although with the fuse it's directly next to it just to the left so we'll pop the fuse in move over to the left in a second you'll find the on switch i just passed it there it is okay we head back out and you can see again if you don't know where you're going you just have to follow this wiring you might not be able to jump down the side of the cliff like myself as i am uh, no cliff at the minute but if we head down here you'll find a little tunnel you can go down so if you look on the left there uh, there is a uh, on the right there is a pathway you can walk down so you head down here this one is quite short so you don't really need a torch especially if you're quick enough as you can see the door has on it has a light itself uh, you just swipe your green card in whenever you're ready and open goes the door in you go again just head in a straight line you don't have to worry too much about the light it is quite bright in here especially compared to others this loot room is very large and does have a lot of loot in it uh, which can make it quite a popular place if we go past this bright spotlight we'll find our blue card and there you go, there's a lot of loot all around the place, so make sure you take your time and search it all. There's plenty to find there. Here we have Small Harbour. This one is very straightforward, very similar to Large Harbour. However, the loot room, as you can see, is directly above the uh, fuse room. So this one is just a very, very simple puzzle. If we slap the fuse in here, we've got the on switch just on the right. We don't even have to travel for it. Off up the stairs we go with our green card. Through the door, and on the left-hand side, on the left-hand desk, we can see there is the blue card as well as some crates that should spawn here. This one is train station and for this one will be slightly different as you will need a hazmat suit to do this due to the high radiation as well as some water and possibly anti-rad pills. Now quite straightforward as I say everything's based around two little switches, two little fuse switches so you'll want to bring two fuses with you and then hop into this building here first. As you can see upstairs we have the on switch so we turn that on and we're going to run around all the way along here, it's uh, just to the other side. You can see that tower just in the distance uh, on the right hand side. So we're going to run all the way along to that underneath the jagged pipe and through the roadblock. And this, as soon as you turn this second switch, it will be timed, so you'll have to be quickly. Uh, you'll have to be quickly, you'll have to do things quickly. Uh, hop up these stairs here, obviously, you'll have to run straight up them. Getting down is a fair bit easier, though. You can vault over these sides. So we'll come up to the top and as you can see the wiring is just there, so you come out here to the other generator, turn on the power. There you go. Now coming down the best way to do it is just hop over the banisters, keep vaulting over each one as I'm not, we're not quite doing here but showing you and you'll get down quite quickly. You can run through here and now you want to head to the building with the jaggedy stairs. It's this one here. You can get through that little gate at the bottom and run up each stair at a time. At the back end of here it's very easy to see. You just uh, pop the fuse in, turn the power on, there you go, the fuse is already in, the power is already on, and we're going to run upstairs to the next room, this is where you need your green card, and then you'll need a blue card afterwards, oh, quite, I just missed it, there we go, in here you can come in here and loot and everything, this is just above where we were a minute ago, and then obviously a little bit further up we have our blue card, so we turn that on, head inside, there's plenty to loot, but run around a little bit and get everything all along the sides. It's quite straightforward and on the desk of course is our red card. Onto airfield, you can see this one is quite straightforward. This isn't a particular, although it is a large monument and there is a fair bit of radiation, you won't need a hazmat suit for this one as long as you have plenty of clothing on. Uh, so we're gonna go over to this building first. You'll see it's got a little watchtower on it. It's also quite easy to find. It's got it's got yellow inside, so the, the walls are all painted yellow, so it's quite easy to spot. But on this side is a little ramp with a truck on it. So if you head straight up here, you can go into the garage. As you see, it's just that behind us. You go into the garage, there's an oil refinery and a recycler as well as a repair bench. Turn right and then turn left. Into here, we've got the one fuse you'll need. So we pop that in and scan, uh, turn on the switch, sorry. Uh, head back the way we came past that and go straight onward. You can actually see on the left there where the electrical wiring is. Along this right hand side there is a little break in the wall. We'll hop inside and down this tunnel. Now for this one I would recommend using a torch. As you can see I'm just going to make it now. Uh, this tunnel does get quite dark and it's kind of awkward to see through. As well as this you will need a weapon as scientists will spawn down here. So it's important to be able to take those out so you can properly loot everything. So So 
we make it to the end of the tunnel, you can see that the green card switch is on. So we pull out our green card, swipe that, and the door shall open. It's a little bit brighter in here, there's a few lights, but I'd recommend still using a torch, or better yet, a weapon flashlight. In rooms you can loot and exits as well, but if you head straight forward, you'll find the armory, which means guns, yes. So we head inside, and just coming along this left hand, corridor you'll see the sparking fuse box already so we'll pop our little fuse in there and then we can head along where you can see the wiring that's easy as i say the easiest way to find things the blue card is already ready to be scanned so we'll slip that on head inside and there will be a lot of crates in here to loop along all these uh, empty spaces that you're seeing between the crates that are just already there and at the desk at the far side it will be our next red card on to water treatment plant. This one's quite straightforward. You'll want a little hazmat for this one as it can, you know, be well, it is radioactive. So we're going to head through and onto this central ish building here. It's got two stories. Again, very easy to find. Along the side of it will be garage doors. It's, oh, you just want to come up to this wheel, hold E for a little bit. This will turn around so you can head up under here. There's a few crates that usually spawn in. And when you head up, you'll find a recycler. Uh, sorry, a repair bench. You'll put your fuse in and turn on the power switch just directly next to it. This one's quite straightforward. You can just head out of this door by pressing the button and then hopping over the side and across here, you'll find uh, the power leads you just over this way. Uh, if there's people in there recycling, you can hop up onto this fence here and run along the top of it. You won't take damage and you'll be completely silent for some reason. I don't know why it does that. They may patch that at some point, but that's just a little tip you can use for now. As you can see, you can uh, there's a recycler in here. There may be people. You climb up this ladder and up these stairs along to the very end. There will be where you scan your blue card. Heading inside, there's plenty of loot to find, and if you wrap around the side, you'll find the desk, and that will have a red card. Up next we have nuclear plant. This one again you'll need a hazmat suit and most likely some water or some anti-rad pills as well just to be on the safe side. You don't have to carry too much but as long as you have a bottle with you and some rad pills as I say you should be fine. First things first you've got to head into here and underneath the stairs you'll find a generator. You flip that switch on and run back down the stairs and this time around to the other side you can just jump over that edge you don't have to go all the way around just run across to the other side of the map this time it's another timed one so you want to be nice and quick with this uh, along to the side and around to the other end as i say there's this little shed here you hop inside and you'll find another generator turn it on and all three lights should be turned green once you've turned all the switched on uh, there's a little oil refinery in there too you head across back now to the loot building which is just here. So we'll pull out our green card, swipe that, mine just broke. Head inside, turn right and turn left again all the way down to the end and you can see there is another power switch. So that will activate our next card. Easy enough, we just head across here and you can parkour up this little bit. It can be a little bit tricky to get the right angle though. There is some stairs just on the other side, I believe this way. Yeah, up here you can see the stairs and you can use those instead of parkouring up and then you come and follow along this way for the next flight of stairs and follow along you turn around there's a little control room and another box for fuse you put the fuse in and you are ready to go you just need to turn around head back to where the control room is and swipe your blue card door should open there we go the door's opened and you'll find desks with some loot and up at the top side here there is a desk with a red card on it again next to the repair bench uh, research table if this video has helped at all then please subscribe leave a like and turn on the notification bell and if you're looking for more rust tutorials there is a whole playlist of them in the description below next up we have launch site this one's quite obvious when you see it You've got the little uh, rocket stand over in the back you are going to need to have a hazmat suit for this one as you can see i'm wearing mine you also want some water and some anti-rad pills uh, because the top of the building where all the best loot is is highly radioactive and you will gain rads even in a hazmat so uh, there will be a tank around here possibly as well uh, bradley you can destroy the tank if you want, that will give you some uh, elite crates, they'll be on fire at first, the same as if you crash the helicopter. But if you head under here, you can just open this door straight away, and you can already see the uh, fuse box sparking in the back there. So we're going to plop this fuse in, fuse, fuse in, turn on the power, and obviously there's multiple lights. This one is another one where you need to switch multiple things on. Fortunately, we have to head all the way over to the other side, like with most of these puzzles nowadays. Uh, 
with most of these later puzzles. So there's the main loot building you can see on the side there. We're going to go past that all the way to the other side. And you'll find up these stairs, there's another little two-story building here. And a green card can be scanned at the bottom. So we'll scan that green card, we'll open the door. And to the left here is another fuse box. There will be some loot in there you can take as well. Next is quite straightforward. We're going to hop over this railing here and head inside to the loot room. There is multiple entrances, but you'll need a red card to get in. I'm already picking up rads as you may be able to hear, so we'll quickly scan our red card. I'm in god mode though, so it won't worry too much. Now, you can head directly up if you want to, just straight to the roof to get the best stuff, or you can come through here. Um, through here you'll find there's uh, just at the base of the rocket there is ladders. You can hop straight up these ladders, just spam your X button or your, uh, your A button, I think it is on Xbox, or spacebar, obviously, if you're playing on PC. Um, hop over the side of this railing onto this arm run across the side there will be a box on your left um, as well as like a little jump that it's quite hard to make but you can do it uh, you run over this right hand side to get to the top turn right again up this beam and do a little jump over the side you can hear the tank outside now uh, along right again and just follow the path away uh, up this arm here that's fallen down or the pathway I should say on the right again following the path around you can see we're on the top floor now the roof just above us there's an open door to the left and we're back onto that same staircase but obviously we'll have a little bit more loot now oh, well this isn't the same staircase this is a different staircase but there's a staircase there like one of the entrances so come up and this is where all of the best loot is obviously none of it is spawned in right now because i'm on a sandbox like well not sandbox creative server uh, there is a sand turret here so you won't be able to just fly in with a minicopter or do it well, you can but you'll have missiles shot at you so i wouldn't recommend doing that it's a lot more straightforward to go from the bottom up although if you want to try crash into the top you're welcome uh, just give it your best shot i suppose okay here we have military tunnels this one is a lot of pvp so you will need guns for this uh, pve sorry so we move through the side i've killed the majority of these scientists already so you don't have to worry too much about those but if we head in from the right hand side here we can get our first part done we head inside as you can see there is a fuse box for us to place it in pop that in oh is it gonna go in there we go turn the power on and that's the first section done. We can now follow along the rest of the military tunnels. Again, there will be a lot of scientists to kill here. Okay, so you'll need plenty of ammo and plenty of guns, possibly two. Uh, so you can see the power line sort of going along. It's not that red wire. It's actually a tiny little thing, grey wire, uh, heading along. But we'll just head down this tunnel here. Again, I think I've killed all of the scientists, so we'll head through. You see the dead bodies are all there. You can loot them. You can get a little bit. You can get components from them. Not too much though. <coughs> but it's important to kill them as you go just so it makes getting back easier with all of your loot obviously you don't want to die to a rogue scientist you left but if we oh there we go rogue scientist that i left where is it i yeah, can't quite see it just head through here obviously this is the way you come so kind of opportunity. anyway you want to head in through here you saw those i flew through the fence there's a little gap you can crouch through and you'll see that you can pop your green card on here so we'll scan it no nope. i haven't been in here yet uh, so, get your gun out, get ready. Got plenty of scientists. A fair few shots. And we've got another switch to turn on. After that, we can come in and loot the rest of things and everything. Uh, there's a little tunnel out there. You can go if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. Obviously, the best loot is elsewhere. This is just a little dead end. So, if we head back out, we can follow down the tunnel the rest of the way. Um, again, more scientists have. Oh! <laughs> Okay, as I say, there are a lot of scientists down here, so it's actually better to not do it solo. If you have a group, I'd recommend taking one or at least two people with you. Uh, obviously, you, it can be done solo, it just takes a, a fair bit more time. And the longer you think doing this, obviously, you're going to be counted. On to the next section, and scientists, I did not do a very thorough job of it. Fired everybody. Okay. Anyway, on to... Oh, that's not right. There we go. Here it is. Just further along this way. Keep heading along the train tunnel. It's quite straightforward. It is just a straight line. Even though there is two tracks, there will be scientists on both sides. So we're going to head in through here. As you can see, there's a little gap there. All right, we're going to scan our blue card. Hop through here and get the scientists, as always. Keep moving forward. Sorry, my screen is kind of covered right now. Turn on the power, and here we have the red card. So we scan that. 
and into the main loot room. Now, near these blue test tubes, there will be a lot of rads. Uh, you can't quite hear it at this, at this point. But there's a loot room here, and there's plenty to loot in here, obviously, over this side as well. We can go and scientists. As I was saying, there is plenty of loot in here, um, so even just having multiple people so you can carry it all, there is. Yeah, um, so you're going to head across and out of this door here. This is, as you can, as you read it, it was an exit only. Push the button and kill the scientists and climb up to the top. This way you're not exiting through the entrance, and if there are any players, less likely to run into them unless they're already camping you. Next we have our underwater labs. You may want a submarine to get down to this, as there are sharks in the game now. However, it's not necessary if you have a diving tank or you're just quick enough. So we head in now, obviously you can see the inside of the uh, cafeteria area and everything. Uh, if you want to get in normally, you have to go through a moon pool. So there's a few of those. Some of them are human sized, like this one here, for example. You can just swim underneath and pop up you go. You're in the uh, underwater labs. Obviously, if you come in a submarine, although you can park underneath there and climb out, it's better to use the bigger one. Here we have the other small one, and just across is the bigger moon pool. You can come in with your submarine here, and once you're in, you can just climb along the side. There will be scientists in here to kill, so uh, although you can reasonably do it with a bow, I would recommend bringing a gun, at least a mini rev, just to help with it as it will be slightly quicker. Now, the main goal of this, for the main loop at least, is to go up to the very top. That's um, okay, there we go, I can see a bit better now. Up to the very top, however, there is loot on the other floors. You can see the green cards, they're already ready to be scanned. So, there's a blue card here as well. It's pretty quite straightforward, we can just put our red card ready. Open the... Hello? Are you going to work? Nope. Okay, now with the, the green door open, it's just a little bedroom, a uh, little toilet in here, nice little view as well. There's plenty of those about where you can get loot from. So if we head across to the blue card room now, I'll show you the inside of here. So we go slightly, well, not bigger, but it'll have a little bit better loot in it. Uh, there's plenty of green card rooms, as I said. But moving on, I'll just do this further just down the corridor. So head inside, there's plenty, um, we can go along, there's different routes you can take, obviously you'll have to explore the underwater labs, that will spawn slightly differently, there's more than one uh, spawned on each map, so you don't have to worry too much, here we have one of the smaller moon pools, and you'll see ladders up, most of them are blocked off, obviously because the other side is just water, uh, but what you need to do is just keep looking until you find one where you can physically see it going up, so if I just head along this way, we'll find it in a second, should be just down here I think, here it is, here it is. So you can see just up here there's another floor, this is the top floor, so you can see through there, that's the loot room the, uh, where all the loot will spawn. Very radioactive in here, very radioactive. Uh, obviously I'm not wearing a hazmat suit right now, but you will need a hazmat suit and radiation pills, so you want to get out your blue card, or green card. So if I just get some rad pills real quick, just to get, make my uh, screen clear so you can actually see through it. Let's take some of those. Okay, so we're going to want to pull out our blue card once we get to the top here and let ourselves in. Here we go. There's a little bit of a timed puzzle here, but it's not too much. Uh, it's not too difficult. As you can see, there's a one light off, one light on. So we're going to head over to the left-hand side first. Turn on the switch with the fuse inside it. Pop in the fuse. There we go. Turn on the switch and that's on, turn on the next switch and we'll have to run around to the other side quite quickly. As you can see it is, you do have to be quite quick with it as I say. Uh, obviously that's off right now, but if we put our next fuse in, turn on the switch, turn on the switch, here we go. And that's all the lights on, the red card is ready, however, it goes off very quickly. So we have to run all the way back to the next, uh, back to the first as we do not have long to do this at all, so we'll come back around, turn on this time fuse here, run around to the side, again be nice and quick, turn on your oh, door, inside as I say, very radioactive, however except for the corner, so where the actual entrance to the door is, some loot along the side, you turn right, some loot down here, but it's not radioactive here, so you can hide out here if you need to, uh, grab your loot, and then turn left, you're going to race back around to get to the exit. Okay, this one is oil rig, quite straightforward, you don't actually have to do so much puzzling for this one, you won't need a fuse either. You can fly into this one on a minicopter or come by a boat here, you can see there's a the little minicopter that's already landed here, 
and you'll see at the bottom there's also a wooden raft area. There was a lot of scientists will spawn here and you'll have to fight a lot of scientists for this. But we'll take the red card at the top, the loot in here, and there will also spawn the uh, uh, special crates, the uh, CH47 lock crates. So obviously you'll have to wait uh, some time for those to unlock as well as that. They'll spawn in heavy scientists with the M2s, so you want to be careful of that to make sure you don't get shot down. Yeah, here we can see we have the area you can buy boat and you have to climb up through the whole thing. There are a lot of scientists spawning here. If you come in by minicopter, you can also try and get up onto here and shoot downwards. There is a technique where if you jump off the side and down and just kind of skirt your way off of that railing, don't quite hit it slightly and then land on here, you will survive the fall. However, it is very, very awkward to do and it's more luck than skill. So just be careful when you're doing that. As you'll see, there is a lot of space to be shot from a lot of little corners for scientists to be hiding behind so you want to be as careful as you can. Walking up here you'll be able to see where the tower is and everything and you can fly away in a minicopter quite easily. It's not surprising especially if there's crates spawning that you will have to fight people here as well so although it is mainly PvE you'll want, uh, you want to be prepared for some PvP as well from both boats and copters but after you take off it's quite straightforward you can just fly back to your base and ferry back as much as you need. There are no SAM turrets or anything like that to shoot you down here so you are free to fly around. This video contains information about every monument puzzle today. If you have any further questions or suggestions please let me know in the comments below and with that being said I'll see you next week.